Pittsburgh pivotal match between playoff hopefuls at Heinz Field tonight. Steeler Nation's all about duck mania. Their rookie quarterback, Devlin Hodges, has Pittsburgh making an unlikely playoff push. They are right on the heels of this man. Josh Allen and the Bills win tonight, and they are back in the playoffs. Temperatures around freezing, no precip, stakes are high. Pittsburgh and Buffalo flexed into a good one for you on Sunday Night Football, which, of course, begins with Football Night in America. Hi, everyone. Mike Rico, Hall of Famer, Tony Dungy, Chris Sims. Happy birthday, Rodney Harris. Yeah, happy birthday, old man. And oh, Mike which Ford, is right, old man. Oh. Leaves out of the stadium with Al, Chris, and Michelle. Guys, as we get set for this one, and Buffalo's in with a win we already have a team in with a win today, and that's the New England Patriots. Yeah, they look good. We're on to Cincinnati, guys. Yeah, I'll just let you know. And it is. It's all about their corners, the dynamic duo. Stephon Gilmore, arguably the defensive player of the year in the NFL, pick six. He got two interceptions. J.C. Jackson also got two interceptions. For me, it's Kansas City. It's Patrick Mahomes making it look really easy in the snow. Eight different receivers caught passes from him. 340 yards. He was outstanding today. Ooh. I like to head. Talk. Best thing you saw today. Houston Texans on the road needed a win. They were struggling in the fourth quarter. Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins took over and got them in first place. And how about the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears? Oldest rivalry in football. The Bears are back. They were back. The Packers <laughs> up big. They held on. They go to 11 and three. But the Vikings also getting a win. Dalvin Cook injured. Showdown looming next Monday between Minnesota and Green Bay. All right, more on that in a bit. Home farewells for me. Eli with a smile on his face with Archie and Olivia in the stands. Uh, farewell, perhaps, in his last New York start. And Oakland saying farewell to the black hole. Looked like they were going to win, but Jacksonville just took the lead in that game in the final minute. We'll have the highlights and all the farewells in Oakland ahead in a little bit. But Oakland-Pittsburgh was a great rivalry for a long time. Pittsburgh's our site. Tonight, we bring in Al Michaels set for the Bills on Sunday Night Football against Al, a Steelers team. We didn't think we'd be flexing into a Pittsburgh game when they had the poor start. But full credit to Mike Tomlin for the job he's done this season. You know, Mike, we have two great Coach of the Year candidates here tonight. Sean McDonough's done a tremendous job. McDermott has done a tremendous job with the Buffalo Bills. And for Tomlin, when you think about Mike Tomlin, he was 34 years old when he got the job. He's still only 47. He is still younger than half the coaches in the National Football League. He lost Ben Roethlisberger, elbow injury, gone for the season, week two. He brings in Mason Rudolph. He did okay for a while, got hurt, brought him back, he was ineffective. Now he goes with the undrafted rookie, Duck Hodges, who is 3-0 in his three starts. This team has gone from 1-4 in mid-October to the record now of 8-5. and five. Tony Dungy gave Mike his first job in the National Football League. Nice job, Tony. I mean, well, when you look at this team, the mess they are in, I don't think that Harry Houdini and David Copperfield could have gotten them out of this mess. So for me, Mike, Mike Tomlin is my coach of the year. And you're not alone. A lot of folks think that, especially if they can work their way in the playoffs. Now we'll see you and Chris in a little bit while stay at Heinz Field and check in with Michelle Tafoya to hear about her visit with the undrafted quarterback from Sanford. Michelle? Yeah, Mike, Doug Hodges told us after being named the starter three weeks ago, he was a little uptight at the team walkthrough, and that's when Ben Roethlisberger approached him and said, hey, Doug, be you. You can do this. Just be Doug. Well, Hodges said that settled him down. Now, on, after practice on Friday, I sat down with the rookie quarterback to ask about his transition to the NFL. It's, it's obviously a lot different because when I was in college, I mean, we, we were throwing a ball 60 times a game. Um, but, you know, one thing that my agent, he always told me, he said, hey, if you can throw a football, you can throw a football no, no matter no matter what level, no matter FCS, Division Division One, FBS, or NFL. If, you, if you're a gunslinger, you're a gunslinger. And the gunslinger will be without wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, who's missing his fourth straight game due to a knee injury, and tight end Vance McDonald out with a concussion. And coming up shortly, Mike, my full interview with Hodges, one of the biggest surprises of this NFL season. And it's a great story. Michelle talks duck calling with duck coming up in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Thanks, Michelle. Stay warm.